Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. Wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was lift. Gotta get a bitch, I lick. On my shot, we lit. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad little bitches. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto, coming back at it again with another daily DGen update. Now, if you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen Yield Farm channel. So if you guys are brand new to Yield Farms in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials, ask a whole bunch of questions around all these community telegrams. Once you guys kind of get a wrap around everything, come on back. Besides all of that, I always go through all the chains I have listed in the video title. So if all you guys want to do is check out a particular chain or so, feel free to check out the timestamps listed below. All I ask is you guys smash that like button right before you go. But with all that out the way, man, let's get started. So, first one up. Um, typically, I would say, you know, we'll go ahead and skip BSC again. But for all those who kind of don't understand why, BSC, you guys don't really got a lot that's going on right now. And, um, you know, a couple of you guys kept asking about uh, Emerald. To be real with you guys, all you guys got to do is just come up to Rug Dock and actually check these things out. A lot of updates and a lot of stuff that they have right here is pretty helpful. So if you guys can see, you know, through checking out the wallets and everything, they, they're uh, pretty much guessing that the dev is the same dev for all these other farms, which is basically kind of like rug pool slash like uh, little cash grabs. All they're doing is just taking your deposits and taking the money, selling off the tokens on the side, yada yada. So for all you guys that are over there on BSC side, you know, you guys are still trying to figure out what to do. What I would suggest is actually just click right here, hit that audited. And then whatever farm that you guys see here that's brand new, if it's audited, you know, go ahead and check it out. Normally, you know, I would suggest you guys, you know, stay away or whatever it is. But, you know, there's certain farms that I don't like that you guys can check out. You know, like this Mondo, B Global, whatever. If that's your guys' bag, go ahead, you know. What you're going to see is that there's going to be a lot of stuff that even though they have audits and stuff, anything can happen, you know. So just... Just be careful with that, all right? But at least the audits, you know, RugDoc can confirm that they have some kind of audit. So that's basically the least you can do. But anyways, like I said, there's really nothing on BSC side. So we're just going to go ahead and skip everything over. And we're going to go ahead and start with Phantom. So first one up over here on Phantom. You guys already know what's up, man. Got to go over Trick or Treat. So Trick has been an absolute monster, all right? Um, normally, I use a uh, deck screen. But, you know, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and use... Uh, we can use cat tools. So let me go ahead and hit that little 15. All right. So the reason why I want to check out this 15-minute uh, chart is because I kind of want to show you guys how everything rocked down. So if you guys remember, everything started. You know, the farm dropped all crazy. And it ended up balancing around, uh, what was it, like um, 27, almost like 30 bucks. Like This ended up being the floor. And so from there, a lot of us were able to, you know, catch this pump crazy, dude. And I'm telling you, that was an easy 3 to 4x. So like I said, man, shout out to the whole TG. We all got blessed on that. We all took profit, and that's the way it is. In my mind, I kind of thought the correction was it was going to be around, you know, like 60, 50, whatever. And that's what ended up happening. So I ended up, you know, throwing in. I threw in a fat little LP, and I want to sleep. Luckily for me, my homie, he always has my back, dude. And uh, he works graveyard, so he's kind of up during the nighttime. He ended up telling me that it ended up breaking 55. And when it broke 55, he hit me up. And um, like I said, sometimes you guys have to figure out a system. You know, lucky for me, my homie works graveyard, so that works out, you know. I always, you know, help him out. If something that he's in, he'll let me know, like, hey, dog, I got to go to sleep. You know, uh, just message me or call me, blah, blah, if such and such gets under a number. You know, I make sure I do that for him. Same thing that he does for me. So, like I said, sometimes you guys got to figure out some systems or, you know, things to help you guys out. Luckily for me, man, I have my boy because, you know, being able to sell off at 55. And when I woke up, dude, and, you know, seeing that thing down in the 30s, that hurts, all right? But anyways, if we, you know, move this on up, you guys can see after that, it basically, you know, kept finding a nice little rhythm until it kind of started building up that uptrend. As of right now, you guys can see this definitely looks like a slight uptrend. No matter how many times it goes down, the floors, which are the bottoms, keep going up. So right now, you know, we're in a pretty uh, particular little spot. We're trying to see if this is going to paint the actual bull flag and we're going to move back on up again. Or if this is where people are going to start taking mass profits. Like I always tell you guys, price charts are super important. You guys can see, man, trick popped off, and we honestly expected to pop off more. But obviously, that's NFA, and like I always tell you guys, just stick close to that price chart. <laughs> but anyways, you guys can see, man, I'm over here farming. For you guys, check anything out over here. Obviously, you know, native is gonna be where it's popping. If you hit the little APRs, you, know, you guys can see, you know, it's not the craziest ever, but it's still pretty beast. If the price is gonna keep pumping, then like I said, you know, that's where you wanna be at. You'll notice that this one and then that other one, Salem. 
that they're not really, you know, popping off all super crazy. But, you know, it is what it is. So, um, the APRs, like I said, you know, they're always a second. If the price of the token is pumping, then that's what you want to do. A lot of people, you know, you guys only want to swing trade. And for me, it's kind of weird because I'm legitimately swing trading at the same time that I'm farming. You're buying low and you're selling high. But in between the uh, lows and the highs, you know, you can basically farm it. You guys can just throw it in the single stake and just get some more free money. Like, that's the whole point of that. But you already know what's up. A lot of vets already know what's up. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys want to check this one out, everything's always the same, all right? Check out the info. Check out the docs. After you guys do that, check out the price charts. As of right now on Phantom, this is the only one that I would suggest you guys rock. Phantom Pump is already done. The mission's already over. And until we, you know, get some real news about what's going on, I would suggest you guys just stay away for right now. Stick close to that TG so you know what's going on with the actual, you know, the team, the group. But like I said, you know, I would suggest you guys stay away from, you know, farm side on that. So, trick, this is where you guys are going to be at. Even if the price is, you know, rocking up or down, just jump in on a dip. And then, like I said, stick close to that price chart. But like I said, man, that's basically it for Phantom. Little last minute shout out. There is this uh, Genesis crap. Let me go ahead and uh, rock back. You guys already know, man, I always tell you guys to check the docs. And that's what I was doing. I was just reading up. I noticed that this one had a transfer tax. So, you know, for all of you guys who, I guess, like that stuff, whatever, this is cool. For everyone who doesn't, make sure you read the docs, all right? The only reason, you know, I'm checking this one out is because, you know, they have the little palette and audit. And like I said, you know, if they're going to be rocked by Rug Doc pretty chill, then, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and check them out. In comparison to Trick, I definitely would suggest you guys rock Trick over Genesis simply because, you know, we trust Trick and all that. However, Genesis is still pretty chill. Uh, we don't expect these guys a rug pull since they have all their liquidity locked with uh, Rug Doc and then, you know, they got a clean audit. But you already know what's up, man. It's, <laughs> it's the Wild Wild West still, so anything happen. If you guys want to check this one out, read the docs so you guys know what I'm talking about. So you guys know what I'm, you know, trying to say about the transfer tax. After that, stick close to the price chart so you guys can find an entry point. If you guys want to jump in, like I said, just go ahead and read the docs and you'll know what's up. But yeah, man, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what's up. Link will be down in the description. And like I said, that's basically it for Phantom. So give me a second to move on over and we'll pick it back up. All right, guys. So we're over here on Kronos. Um, once again, we're going to go ahead and skip Harmony. It's really nothing popping off on Harmony. Um, Farm-wise, there's really nothing, so if you guys are still going to be running anything, you know, DeFi Kingdom is probably still going to be the only farm for you guys to run. And then, uh, like I said, if we, you know, do come up with a clean farm, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. For all of you guys who keep asking about Wag Me Dow, I don't really cover Dows or own forks here, that's not my bag. Because you guys know, I cover farms. And just in case, if you guys do not understand the difference between a farm and, you know, these own forks or Dows or whatever it is, this is it. In a farm, I can use anything else anything else that i got i can use stables i can use anything else to farm the house token so whatever the house token is i can farm that with anything else that's a farm something that's not a farm let's go over here it says farms however i cannot use anything else to farm agile i have to use agile and something i have to use usdt and agile i have to use agile i cannot farm this token in any way shape or form like a normal farm so you know that's basically the reason why i'm saying that's the difference between the farms and all those for all of you guys who you know do want to know what's up with dows and ohms just go ahead and check out other youtubers i'm pretty sure you guys can hopefully find someone who is honest and that's not going to blow a bunch of smoke up your ass so <laughs> but you already know what's up so anyways wag me down if you guys can jump in there just watch yourself man you guys are probably gonna get wrecked uh defi kingdom is honestly what i would suggest so Anyways, over here on Kronos, the guy you should be in is Salem. Holy crap, bro. Is that weird to say? <laughs> Everyone knows that uh, Salem on Phantom just fucking took a fat dump on itself, bro. It was stupid. This thing never did anything. Never corrected. Never recovered. Nothing, dude. It was wild. And for some crazy reason for checking out the price chart, boy, Salem is popping off on Kronos, all right? So... <laughs> Shout out to everyone who was in here with me back over here in the 30s. Yeah, man, this was pretty wild. You know, I missed out on being able to sell off here at the top at 95. But luckily for me, I was able to sell off over here in 86, 87. So I think it was on this one. Yeah, it was somewhere right here. But I was in 86, 87 range. I was able to sell. And, you know, I sold and basically exited out. I honestly didn't think that this was going to keep going off to 100 because it had already hit, you know, that little double tops and then started going down, which is honestly why I ended up selling over here. So... 
anyways as you guys can see it dropped down and right here would have been a perfect buy-in however you know i just got home i'm trying to do the video and yeah i basically missed it so this totally sucks because this is this is juicy right here dude this is an easy 40 to 50 percent pump all right so but anyways man you already know what's up we win some we lose some salem farm is basically the only farm you guys should be looking on on chronos as of right now like i said cyber dog is already dead and out the uh, APRs are pretty juicy. However, if you guys check out that price chart, it is just consistently dumping with no recovery. It doesn't have, just doesn't look like it has any heart left. So anyways, Cyber, I will go ahead and pass or just stick close to that price chart. And if you guys see an uptrend forming, go ahead and jump in. However, like I said, Salem 100% is where you guys should be at. Just stick close to that price chart, try to find an entry point, and then go ahead and jump in. The APRs are definitely not super crazy. But like I said before, if the you know the token itself is pumping clean, then you guys always want to jump in and then free farm whatever you can. But um, yeah, I mean you guys already know what's up. So, anyways, make sure you guys always hit the more, read the docs, and then check out that price chart. All right. And like I said, that's basically it for Chronos. You know, last minute shout out. You guys do have this little uh Chrono Arena. Um, I know a couple of you guys wanted. You know, you're asking about it and. It definitely doesn't look so great. The uh, liquidity on it definitely isn't the greatest. If you guys can see, you know, they got 2,000. They got three grand, bro, of liquidity. Like, that's fucking terrible, all right? Come over here, Salem. They got, uh like, 23. See that Cyberdog? Cyberdog and uh, this Chrono Arena have basically the same uh, liquidity. So, yeah, man, if you guys are going to be in here, pay attention to that price chart. If you guys are going to jump in, yeah, man, <laughs> good luck, all right? But... Anyways, I don't expect these guys to rug pull on you guys. Their liquidity is locked and all that. I just, you know, don't like weak farms. Like I always tell you guys, man, liquidity is a huge factor for me, all right? If all they have is $2,000 in liquidity or $3,000, how am I supposed to drop $2,000 on here? Like that's literally impossible. If I drop $2,000, I'm literally dropping more than the liquidity they have, dude. Like it. Yeah, but <laughs> I guess that's... uh. I guess like a biggie small said, man, more money, more problems, right? So anyways, if you guys want to check this one out, go ahead, make your moves. You already know what's up. Hit the more, read the docs. But like I said, for sure, Salem, all right? That's where you should be at. But yeah, man, anyways, that's it for Chrono. So give me a second to move on over. We'll pick it back up. All right, so we're over here on AVAX. And um, over here on AVAX, the only thing you guys got is uh, Ice Fleet Finance. So... Right now, it's definitely on a downtrend, 100%. I would tell you guys to stick close to that price chart. Downtrends, all right? Downtrends. These stupid lines right here, <laughs> just letting you know it's a downtrend, all right? As soon as you guys see it go upwards, that's an uptrend, all right? So just in case you guys don't know the difference, downtrends go down, uptrends go up, all right? So don't worry about what tokens they are or whatever it is. Just understand down is downtrends up is uptrends all right down up <laughs> all right so just wait for flake to start going up and then go ahead and jump in if it never does well it is what it is right I always tell you guys you guys kind of got to jump in when you guys can whenever you guys see the pumps you guys need to jump in if we come over here on flake we can see that there definitely was a pump and this was it right here this is where we all originally caught it and like i said man this was easy money being able to catch it right here sub 20 and then selling off at 40 bro that was an easy 2x with free money that was free farming all right and mind you at the time that this was farming the aprs were ridiculous all right i'm talking about ridiculous all right so anyways just stick close to that price chart you guys will be all right if not you already know what's up just go ahead and check some other stuff out whatever i showed you guys i'm not telling you guys to buy this crap you know I like to swing trade whenever I'm just chilling and, you know, that's how it is, all right? So, you know, don't go look at that stupid t token and, you know, try to go jump in there because, you know, you saw it on my shit, all right? Just showing it as an example for uptrend versus downtrend, all right? You do not want to farm going down, all right? You always want to farm up, not down. <laughs> but anyways, that's basically it for AVAX. Like I said, we don't got nothing. So if you guys want to check this one out, just go ahead and hit the more, read the docs. If you guys check out the docs, just put up that price chart and stick close to it, all right? As of right now, the uh, farms and pools, everything's starting to calm down. The APRs are still pretty high. So, like I said, dude, 20% a day is nothing to be shy about. If you guys do want to jump in here, just wait for that uptrend. Or, you know, just basically try to time that bottom. So, good luck because, you know, we don't know if it will bottom out or not. But you already know what's up. So, 
Anyways, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. Link will be down in the description. And lastly, all we got left is Polly. So let me go ahead and hit over Polly. And over here, all we have is Olive Swap. So like I told you guys, all you guys had was Olive Swap on Polygon. There really was nothing else popping off. Um, for all you guys who were able to sell off when like I did back up in, you know, 40s and then 20 cents range. Sweet. For everyone else who jumped back in around 7 or 8, whatever, because you guys wanted to, you know, ride the LPs and stuff. Cool. Because, you know, it's no big deal. Obviously, the APRs aren't, you know, super crazy. You're definitely looking at around 5%. However, if you guys are hedging against Matic Dump and all that through this, then all right, that's what's up. You know, no big deal. I can understand that. If, uh, you know, you guys were just trying to farm here for a while while you guys were waiting for uh, Matic to, you know, reverse and then you guys were going to flip around. Cool, man. Whatever you guys' plays are, that's what's up. All I ever ask is that you guys pay attention to your APR. And make sure you're making money, all right? You guys do not want to be losing money. You don't want to be breaking even. That's not something I like to hear. So, like I said, man, this is all you guys have for Polygon. So, if you guys are over here, this is definitely one I would suggest you guys check out. Just stick close to those APRs. And like I said, stick close to that price chart, all right? It has definitely been going sideways. So, if you guys can pick up on a dip and hit that LP, you guys are way more safer when, it, you know, pumps or dumps. If it pumps crazy and you're an LP, you're 100% going to miss out on, you know, max profit. But it's no big deal. Because if you're an LP and, you know, like I said, it starts dumping or whatever, you're not going to get hit as hard. So, that you know, that's kind of like the double-edged sword. So, all the vets already know what's up. For new people, you know, hopefully, you know, that little tip helps you out. But anyways, if you guys want to check it out, you already know what to do. Hit that more, read the docs, and then stick close to that price chart, all right? 100%. But you already know the deal. So, anyways, that's been my time. If you guys like my content, like always, smash that like button for me. You guys know I appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. You guys can see, man, I answer everybody. If for some reason, you know, I'm not up and I can't answer that question. Or you want to hang out with a whole bunch of like-minded individuals, check out the community telegram, yo. I'm telling you, man, these guys are DJ monsters already, all right? I taught them everything I know, so they know everything by heart. They're up 24-7 because they're from all around the world. So no matter what question you guys got, trust me when I say, man, they're going to be able to help you. But besides all that, this is like the third, tenth like 20th video man yo that you watch you still ain't hit that subscribe yet yo hey bro come on now dog <laughs> all right homies y'all stay up all right peace <laughs>